Hello and welcome back to another episode of an untitled story. Right now we're in the grotto. Right now we are not in the grotto. Let's go up this uh, hill thing. Take these two red energies. That's something I would like to do. Going up here, to the right, get to here. You need to freeze that guy to get any higher, but we'll not worry about that for now. First of all, this is a portal. It teleports you to another area. In this case, it teleports us to Skyland, which is all the way over here. Eventually, we'll be able to see this place, but not now. There's a heart here. There's not really much else to do. Hit that. And we're back here. Fun thing to note, the portals uh, don't change your player's position, so you exit the portals in the same position that you entered them on the screen. You can see we entered it there, and we stay there. Save the game from Mount Sai. This place is all the way over here, and it's completely isolated from every other location. Uh, yeah. Hit those yellow arrows to get blasted in the direction they're pointing. Uh, and then we just go whoosh. In harder difficulties, the, these uh, circle things don't appear, and you have to do it all perfectly. That was not very good. Hitting the ground, or hitting the abyss will not kill you instantly, I believe, it just does damage. It also bounces you up, so you're not completely doomed if you hit the, hit, if you hit the... Anyways, this one's the, uh, I believe this one is one of the hardest, the hardest. Mall. Until it's... Nope. Nope again. No, ah, uh, nuts. Restart from last save. There is a heart door at the end of Mount Side, and it's no good. I'm not sure it appears on Simple, though. Anyways, the soundtrack is pretty epic, right, if I do say so myself. Thank goodness for these dots down here. Try this again. Trying, trying, trying. Ah, there we go. Success. And here we are at the heart door. What's this power up? You feel a lot tougher. This reduces all damage taken by exactly 10, except in the case of things that do 10 damage, in which case they will only do 1 damage one of the power-ups that there are multiple of throughout the world. Anyways, let's uh, ignore going up for a little bit and instead do something else. Now, there is one thing that you can do, uh, one area that might be hard to find for people who don't really know how this game operates, uh, but if we go up here to Night Climb, go to the left, keep going, and jump, Keep going left, left, left. You reach Sky Sand. Uh, I'm really disappointed he didn't name it Sand Castle. Oh well. You have to have the ice power to freeze that, and then shoot it again to get past. Now we're on the other underside of this gigantic castle. And if you are inside of these saw blade things, they rush towards you. If you shoot them, they rush towards you. And this is one of the puzzles in the game that uh, confuses a lot of beginners as well, alongside the actual arrival at Sky Sand. You cannot get to this, however, you have to, uh, you are able to teleport to them any save point that you have already seen, not necessarily saved at. So, if we just fall down, back into Sky Town, and go over to the save point, you can save and teleport here. This is the exact reason that the night the night climb save point is hidden by a button. Anyways, now this power up is two billion times more useful than the ceiling slide one or the ceiling sticking one because you can now move on the ceiling at the same speed you can walk, which is super useful. Anyways, I think we'll explore Sky Sand later on. For now, let's go back to the grotto and do it, do the game in 
the way it's intended to be done, which is to go to Fire Cage. Fire Cage is very difficult. There is a lot of fire in Fire Cage. The sheer amount of fire will result in your death at least several times. Be patient. Don't rush. If you rush, you will die. Simple as that. Shooting this makes it go down, but that's not very useful. Freezing it makes it freeze, and that's very useful. Anyways, we come to this screen, which is very scary. It's your way over. Freeze it. Shoot it again. And, uh, I don't have any reason why would you, why you would go down, uh, underneath. But yeah, he's hidden by these eyes. And that's very evil. Anyways, this is one of the reasons why you want the ceiling slide. Normally you could just stick here and uh, ride the conveyor belt and you would just move over, but having the ceiling slide ability and actually being able to slide is one billion trillion million trillion bazillion times more helpful and easy to use. And that was actually pretty simple. I'm a professional at this game. 370 total health. Uh, and this, this is easy. You just need to freeze, fireball, uh, freeze again, and you've done it. Easy as pie. The first screen of fire cage is honestly the hardest screen of fire cage. Anyways, normally here you would have to have the upgraded fire upgrade, shoot across, and shoot across, and it would uh, have some red energy up here. Or you can just, just, just slide across the top. Yeah. We'd be wondering why the heck is there green at the top of the screen? Well, that's a good question. Oh, hi, guy. Uh, don't see why not. This is a very useful upgrade. Double jump height upgrade. That's a big yeet. Anyways, you can see grass up there, and you can see the side of Deep Tower along the left side of the screen. Uh, because Deep Tower is directly beside that screen. Of course, there you can't actually go inside of the Deep Tower. Anyways, those things shoot lasers at you. No fun whatsoever. Anyways, save point. There are two secrets in this room. That is the first secret. There's another secret in this room. This is the second secret. And random green thing for absolutely no reason, and we're still in Fire Cage. We are no longer in Fire Cage. Bonus. I think I used this soundtrack in one of my other older deleted videos. Anyways, talk to this guy who's the only guy who looks like an actual human. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We finally have our first contestant. Welcome to the show, my friend. Who's out to play? First, you pay me the entry fee of 40 crystals. Pocket change, am I right? For now, actually, yes. Secondly, I put three fabulous prizes in the three fabulous boxes to the left of you. The game froze. Thricely, I mixed the boxes up. S still following me? Yep. Good. Lastly, you open a box and claim your fabulous prize. Uh, here you go. Excellent. Here we go. As you can see, there's an ability, a heart, and a single crystal. Okay, pick a box. Uh, middle. Aw, oh, nuts. You've won a crystal. Uh, I don't like you. Let's try again. Oh, it's the same prize as, as last time. Okay, pick a box. Middle. Finally! <laughs> Got the blue orb. That was really fast. That, what? Wow, what? Crystals are now magnetically attracted to you. I don't know why that music was so fast. Anyways, let's go again. A gold crystal this time, which will give us more than our money back if we pick that one. So still two, uh, two and three chance of getting something that isn't actually terrible. Let's go with this one again. Heart, 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 or, or the gold crystal. That works too, I guess. 100 crystals, rich. Almost won all back, on back all my money. Let's go for the right one again. Just keep doing the right one. Normally, this doesn't take this long. F 
Finally! That took way too long. Anyways, we can now leave bonus and never come back again. Also, if you try to do bonus again after getting all both of the collectibles, it uh, one of them gets replaced by a blue crystal, which is worth exactly 10. So it's a rip off to play that game anymore. Anyways, we can safely now leave and go over to the right. Our cage is very linear. It's not a bad thing necessarily, but that just is how it is. Try not to take any damage here. I just took damage here. Uh. Let me start from last save. Oh yes, I forgot about the soundtracks. Uh, this place, uh, the soundtrack of Bonus is just called Bonus. The soundtrack of Fire Cage is called Lava Bingo. And uh, the soundtrack of Sky Sand is Balls of Flame. Ha, ah, just kidding. Nobody expected it's, that it's called the Spanish Inquisition. Anyways, uh... Aha, this is where the ceiling slide ability comes in handy. Normally you'd need to jump on this guy uh, to make it over and regain your double jump, but no, you can slide. Epic. And this section is eh. Also, the ceiling slide ability comes in handy here, because you can just slide along the ceiling for these ones. Better to just ride that one, because haste will not help. Uh, uh, okay, I made it through without taking any damage. Now this one requires all the double jump upgrades and all the jump upgrades. Luckily I have all of those, which is pretty rad. And this one requires that you don't take any damage, which miraculously I did. Anyways, let's take a look at our status. 21 out of 24 abilities, very few left. 32 out of 95 hearts. Well, that'll take a while. And you can see we've got all the double jump upgrades, all the jump upgrades, and basically all the upgrades except for this one. Uh, toughness 1 and Toughness 3, if I am correct. And I know the location of those. And we just need uh, to get the ability, uh, just one other miscellaneous ability. It has to do with jumping, as most of them do. This is enough block, you can just go straight up through it. And now we go to the point of no return. There's no returning from this point. You can see, this is a yellow energy, and this is the other power-up that we need. Anyways, this is a bandit. No one likes him. Unfortunately, this is specifically engineered that you are literally just one pixel, t one block too short to jump up there. Anyways, talk to the bandit guy. Oh, you're here so soon. D I, did you have much trouble getting down here? Piece of cake, actually. <laughs> well, I lost some tail feathers. Anyways, I've heard about you. Bird is running around uncharted territory causing trouble. I have absolutely no idea who's spreading this rumor, but they're absolutely true. No, don't worry, I'm not angry. The higher ups are sure getting ticked. Birds are supposed to say, uh, in Skytown. This, uh, interestingly, has no space in Skytown, despite the Skytown itself having a space in its name. Anyways, not running around discovering crap. Uh, that sounds boring. Yeah, I hear you, man. I don't like to follow the rules either. But anyways, we're gonna open up this here door, then go in and take down the security system of this old factory. So, enough talk. Let's open the door, I'll give you a boost. Okay, dive bomb onto me to bounce up. Don't worry, I won't hurt too bad. Talk to him again. Try holding jump right as you hit me to get the highest bounce you can. Thank you for the tutorial on basic game mechanics, Mr. Bandit. Boop. Let's beat him into the- How did you get over there? What? I'm trapped. Looks like you're on your own. Sorry, man. You're trapped. I'm the one who's surrounded on both sides. Anyways, annoying boss is annoying. I don't like this. Oh, it's rotating in a circle. Oh my god, it's shooting a laser. It's oh no, it shot a dude at me. Shooting the dude with fire will result in it getting higher or bigger, and shooting it with ice will result in it getting smaller. Took damage for absolutely no reason there, that was really dumb. Uh, so this this boss's uh, health is represented by both the torches and how many sections of it has fallen off. So yeah, shooting these with ice will cause them to shrink by a completely uh, useless and pointless amount, so there's no reason doing it. 
other than showing off to your friends maybe. Yikes, I've taken quite a bit of damage. Luckily, it's not that much damage. Ah, uh, that's pretty damage. L I'm really glad I got the toughness upgrade before coming here. Uh, if I can ever stop being bad at this game. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Final phase. All four. Why do I keep doing that? Honestly, just sit here for the entire fight. Oops. Oh, well, that's just great. Well, that's just great again. I am... Oh, great. Well, I'll cut to when I get back. Anyways, we're back. Blah, 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 you're trapped. Says you. Anyways. Boss, start, start. Da. 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 If you stand still for the first phase of the fight, the laser does not reach you in the bottom left corner. As you can see, it just stops, and you can eat him on the head. Why do I keep dive falling straight through the lasers as I come down? Why did I take damage there? This is no good. Shoot the fireballs so they burst. Eventually they gotta stop growing, right? I think no, they don't. Oh great, another 30 damage. Yay, I successfully didn't get immediately shot. I'm 99% sure those energy balls that get shot at uh, appear either less frequently or not at all in simple. Ugh, they're so annoying. Just like this fight. It's no fun. 0 out of 10 boss fight. It's not stupidly difficult. It's just really annoying. And I say that as I start to begin dying repeatedly. Nuts. Nuts again. I've got maybe three more hits left. Maybe two more hits left. Maybe one more hit left. Oh, thank goodness. Die. All the health. 306 crystals. You freaking nerd. Wow, that was impressive. Come on, let's go get our loot. I'll beat you into the room again. How did you get... What? Oh yeah, and this is one of the... Uh, this is the yellow energy upgrade. The orb is yours. You earned it. The orb is yours. You earned it. Da 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 da. Can now grab yellow energy clusters to get a boost. And also... One other thing to mention, some of the portrait, some of the power-ups are able to be collected whether you're hatched or not hatched. Therefore, those specific power-ups have two versions of the portraits, one for when you're hatched and one for when you're still an egg. Most specifically, the dive bombing one is very it's, you're able to just not go to uh, go to farfall and find night climb before you find farfall. So, uh, fun fact of the day, anyways. Awesome, now let's find a way out of here. And this song is called Ghosts. It appears something's not right here. This better not be what I think it is. Can do. Alright, time to run over to the right. He asked me to, not to protect him. Anyways, that's a ghost. He said they catch up to me one day. To tell you the truth, I sort of forgot until just now. This is a ghost. Uh, they're invulnerable. Like, completely invulnerable. The purple haze is a force field. It can do nothing. Rest in peace, this guy. He's about to freaking die. He just died. This is so sad. Consider this a warning, little one. No bird can exist outside Sky Town with no space. This is not a rule to be bent. How about I shatter it? And if you continue to bend it, will catch you. How can I bend something that's already been broken? You fool. We will catch you as soon as it is convenient for us. So you mean that one save point screen in Stone Castle? This is your only warning. Nah, I think I'll completely ignore your warning. And now the yellow energy orbs appear because they're not jerks. 
go over to the left gear and you can do that. No clue why you can do that, but you can do that. Anyways, go down back to the boss room. Da, 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 This, go up. Da, 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 da. Wait. Uh, use the, the ceiling slide to get over here. You have to use the ceiling slide to slide on the other ceiling. I forgot about that part. That is Fire Cage 100% completed. Epic. And with that, I believe that is all the time we have for today. This is a very long episode. Sorry for that. But anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.